What's good my hood YouTube? This is Crazy Siren Tony One here bringing another video. Today I'm bringing you a video on some big news that was kind of real yesterday a little bit, but today all of it was revealed um, specifically and also images that weren't just stills, but were actually images at a convention were shown. Convention specifically, MCM, London Comic Con. Um, big deal convention. They revealed images of the Power Rangers movie um, merchandise. Um, we've seen the figures for a long time. We've known about them for for a while now. You know, back since New York Comic Con, we've seen them. Um, they showed them again, of course, which they've been doing that since then. And um, not New York Comic Con, not New York Comic Con. They've been showing them since um, San Diego Comic Con. Um, but you get my point. They've been showing them off. This is like their fourth convention showing those figures off, and they still look cool because they always they've been keeping up with changing the poses, although. Um, San Diego and Tom Warpicon, same exact um, uh, posing, but New York Comic Con supposedly had different, and MCM also had different. Also, they had like a, a, a special um, like ba um, like base level uh, piece that like uh, some of the figures were standing on it um, for this one, which looks awesome. I mean, but get, but that's not the exciting. That's not even the exciting part. The exciting part is something that a bunch of people have already started talking about it already now. We've seen now the T-Rex sword figure. Uh, that's one thing. And I'll tell you this much right now, um, the early image that was shown off of the T-Rex sword looked, cool, looked pretty cool and everything. Like the idea was is that the head piece, like there was supposed to be like this crystal kind of piece that would open up and allow the, f uh, and like that would be like where the, the, ra the rangers w would sit inside depending on obviously based on each individual sword and the thing is is that what's cool about this one um is is that it has a cannon on its back it has um you know it has the silver and the red bits all around um and it's supposed to have cannon ports on its sides although it does look like it's not very clear as to whether or not it really has hands or not it might be the lower parts below the little missiles that are on the sides of it but i'm not 100 percent sure uh, it also comes with a tiny mi uh, mini figure of the Red Ranger, which is cool. Uh, very little paint, uh, very little detail at all. This could also just be an early sampling, and may uh, it may not be the exact um, version of how this figure is going to look, as, like as far as the little figure and as far as the overall design of this thing. Um, you know, obviously, you know these early uh, test versions. Um, aren't always exact. Um, the other thing to remember here is that this is just, I'm guessing just for that individual, uh, like the T-Rex, which means that doesn't, uh, does that mean that it's compatible with other Zords? Maybe. We don't even know if it's gonna have Zord Builder compatibility yet. We don't know anything really. And we don't also know if this is gonna, like, if that means that they're gonna sell the individual Zords separately, or or is it just that, like, this is a special, you know, one that, that has the missiles and all that stuff. Personally, that's what I'm guessing. It's probably just a special individual one because the missiles and all that would create problems if they wanted to translate it into a, a, an official Megazord, which I guarantee they'll do that, but no confirmation has been made uh, as of yet as to how they're gonna do that or what it's gonna look like. And obviously, as of now, we haven't even seen what it's gonna look like yet. Obviously, most likely in the second trailer, hopefully we'll get that confirm we'll get to see it, but we haven't. Um, but overall, it's a really cool looking figure. I really like it. Um, not the most you know detailed ever, but um, it's a it's simple and it does the job. I'm hoping that it's a, a pretty nice figure. And there was also images at the MCM convention that were specific to that, which was awesome. And I really like the cannon. I think the cannon's cool. I, I like the silver paint. Uh, I like the yellow darts, and I like the blue top. I, I, you know, it's a, it's a good mix of, of small colors without any real detail necessarily. But um, you know, some minor details here and there. But obviously, it'd be nice if if each detail was painted in a little bit better. But I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Um, the other thing that was shown off that a lot of people got really excited about was the um, morpher. We got to see it. Um, something we've already seen before, kind of. It looks okay. Um, supposedly it's gonna have lights and sound, which is good, and they're gonna have the individual uh, coins of each member, and they're gonna have the uh, you know the the dinosaurs or whatever that each one represents which is fine. Um, hopefully they do say the names, hopefully they, they, you know, have a theme song that plays along with it. I honestly don't know. Um, it overall looks okay. It's, uh, it's definitely not a, an awesome looking, it's definitely not my favorite looking more forever. Like in fact, it's really not. Um, and I wish it were a little bit um, like more detailed, a little bit more interesting 
a little bit and it had a little bit more going on with it but obviously we haven't really we don't really know what the sound effects are we don't know how many things are going to go into it so i don't want to assume anything but as of now uh i'm not sure uh i am gonna probably buy it i, I probably, probably will buy the t-rex one as well most likely um the, the coins are translucent which is interesting um but they do have the uh, symbols which is good um the other thing that was shown off was that they are going to have an individual um you know uh toy of the uh red um the red power sword um which looks okay uh it you know it's gonna be a plastic grip it doesn't look like it's gonna ha i don't know if it will have lights and sound personally i'm guessing not it looks like it's it's mainly plastic but it looks okay um just wanted to add one extra detail uh, i actually had to retake this one twice now uh as an extra detail um first of all i wanted to just make sure to mention that yes we already know about the missiles and all that stuff but also the t-rex sword can actually hold the um the red ranger figure inside figure inside of its um um mouth which is kind of interesting I, i'm hoping that maybe the mouth can actually like open and close we don't know anything for a fact necessarily but that could be interesting um, but overall it looks really cool the other thing i wanted to make sure to add Yes, it does. Yes, the, the, the power sword does have lights. I don't know if it has sound effects, but it does have lights. So it is something. Um, I, don't, I don't know anything else about it, but overall, I just wanted to add those extra details. I know it's a bunch of different things, but um, that's about it. I just wanted to make sure that it was clear that, yes, you can do that. I, might, I, j I just hope that the figure, you know, is a little bit more meaning than just to, like, sit. You know, maybe it does something. I don't know. I, I'm hoping that that maybe adds an extra sound effect, or if there is a sound effect, you know, that does something. I don't know if it does anything other than just, oh yeah, you can sit it in there. We'll see. Um, it, the, the top part might also be a cockpit, which might actually be another place. We don't know yet, but uh, that's about it for me, so I just wanted to make sure to add that in. Um, d definitely not the, my favorite looking thing, but it looks okay. Um, the back, oh, that's an interesting thing. Um, there is an image of the back of the Morpher, which is something that you can clip onto your belt, which is good. Um, it looks like there's some sort of tab that you can pull that will allow you to, pro uh, that will probably function as the way to transform. Like you pull the tab that's towards the top and it will allow you to transform, which is kind of interesting. Uh, obviously very different from what we're used to, um, but it will have a battery compartment and all that stuff. So that's important to know, but uh, you know, that's actually kind of cool. I'm curious as to how that works. That obviously limits certain things, but also it's kind of unique. Um, there has been reveals as to how much this, like all of them are going to cost and when they're going to come out. Um, the figures are set to come out December of this year. So that's good. Um, the Morpher is going to come out December and it's going to cost 32 bucks. That's not bad. It's actually reasonable. Um, the T-Rex, um, Zord with action figure is going to cost 45 bucks i'm sure the majority of that comes from the t-rex rather than the actual action figure i'm sure, gonna, I'm sure that the action figure is probably worth like five bucks and the rest is 40 <laughs> i'm just saying um the red ranger sword is going to cost 32 bucks which is um a, li a little bit more than i would expect i would expect 25 but that's fine um all december so that's not bad um big bad toy, toy store is already um put those on their website so you can pre-order them if you want to off of their website or you can wait and buy them at Toys R Us when they come out. Um, obviously these estimated dates are you know supposedly gonna happen doesn't mean that they will. A lot of times many, many times over when it comes to new figure lines or whatever though a lot of times they'll have a, a set date and they might release them you know weeks earlier so that could mean the very beginning of December that could mean the very end of November we don't know anything yet um, it, c it could also mean the very end of December we don't know um, overall I am excited for this I'm hoping that you know we get to see the, the figures also release around that time as well as maybe the Megazord uh, you know obviously three things were shown off here but hopefully there's a lot more that are that is going to come out around that same time and we're not going to be waiting to like January or February to start seeing the actual like Megazord and the figures and all that stuff We'll have to wait and see. Um, overall, I am excited about this stuff, and I'd love to know your guys' opinions. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe to it. You guys think, or are you guys excited? Which items of these will you buy and why? And also, um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and um, Twitter account, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 71, and goodbye, guys. Just one other side note that I wanted to bring up for anyone curious. Um, they also revealed what the um, um, when the Legacy Diecast coins are going to come out for the, uh, you know, the main core five uh, rangers, of course, and uh, 
thought many people would be interested just, just because why not um they're gonna come out april so that is an, an interesting thing uh april of next year and um pre-orders will start to be available uh, are probably already available in certain places and um they look perfectly nice um we, we've heard about this already but it is nice to know that that we have a date so um please remember to uh so i just wanted to add that extra detail in um so that's about it for me i just wanted to make sure that i added that extra detail in just for anyone that's curious and was like i need to get those coins they're die cast i need them there's your date so that's about it so bye bye guys